Okay, hey guys, this is your weekend rune reading. Oh, rune reading. Ah, this is your weekend guidance. Um, I didn't do one for this week, but the rune that we pulled in the group that um, I'm in for the week was Uru's. And Uru's is really about um, manifestation or the potential of manifestation. Um, it deals with, it's also actually, it's actually traditionally, it's, just, it's the rune of strength. And, but untraditionally, the way that I work with it, it deals with uh, manifestation and uh, the potential to manifest. So, that's that. I think I'll leave that down here. So now, um, like I said, I'm in the tarot, so I pulled the tarot card, and we have another card, and we have the actual reading down here. So let's get right into it. As far as the tarot card, I pulled the Six of... I pulled the Six of Swords, and we're going to do that because it wants to lay down. So, uh, with the six of, six of Swords, the first thing I noticed on the card was the, uh, well, of course, the Swords. And way, 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 way back before uh, making metal was a trade, it was considered um, dark magic, black magic. Um, be, the, the ability to wield metal into anything was considered dark magic. So right now that I already let you know that it's... Um, is some deep magic is some deep magic going down and then if you notice the swords of course there's six of them but they're placed in a hexagram you got three here three here which actually makes a hexagram and a hexagram is a symbol of um creation it's the male and the female coming together and it's also in a circle so it's concentrated now on top of it they have it on top of they have the cross in the center of it now the cross actually comes from the unk but instead of um let me see if I can find the unk card real fast so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Instead of the top of it um, being open, it's closed, which takes away the female principle, which lets me know that this card is dealing more so with um, um, more so with the male energy, uh, which is more so logic and logic and knowledge. Uh, can I find the unk card? Do, 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 do. Maybe, maybe not. Nope. Kind of hard looking for this with one hand. I might have went past it. That ain't it. Do, 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 do. Anyway, as I was saying with the card or whatever, with the uh, with the cross is more so. Um, it's still a creation symbol, but it's based on um the mill principle which is um logic and knowledge now that's still the understanding of it but as you see you have the mill and the female here and the mills on the left which is her um rightful place to connect the spirit and the um i'm sorry the females on the left and the mills on the right which connects to your connects to your logic and as you can see he's the one that's actually doing the work while she's just sitting there um more so looks like she's listening or guiding okay found it so as you see with the unk the top part is open. This represents the womb, and this represents the phallic. So they're connected. So it's also a heavy creation symbol. But with the cross, as you see, the top part is closed, which mostly represents the closed womb. So is more so dealing with the male part of the manifestation. Now up here you have the bird, which all birds deal with the air. Um, well, not all birds. Majority of the birds deal with the air. This one deals with air, which also de which deals with thought. So for me, this card deals with um. First of all, it's concentrated, it's deep thought. So that lets me, let me know there's heavy planning going into it. So this, whatever is about to be done um, is, is, is going to be successful. Um, it's, 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 I've seen the swords. So it's more so thoughts and ideas. Um, you, have the, you, have the, you have the inspiration here, which is the females. So now that you have the inspiration, you're structuring to, in, order, in order to make it manifest. As you see, he has everything very structured. And if you look at the cross, the colors are yellow, and in the middle is orange, which yellow connects to the solar chakra, which gives you that energy to do it. And orange is the sacral chakra, which, um, which is actually where you start to uh, create or pull that energy down from the spiritual room, which is why she's sitting over there. And you're putting it into your solar chakra, which is the chakra that helps you to get things done. So he's uh, he's um, in in the process of um, deep thought and actually structuralizing and making a successful plan of whatever is getting done. So basically, all your thoughts from this card alone, what I'm getting is all your thoughts are coming together. Um, it's not just thoughts no more; they're actually practical ideas, and you should be writing down ways of getting things done or or receiving ways of actually making this thing manifest. Because that's what this is. That's to me, to me, 
from what I get just from the symbolism of this card. That's what this card is about. It's about to start making things, um, it's about to start making things manifest, uh, for you. So that's that card. Now, the next card I pulled is another indicator card, um, is this card. And this card we actually got last weekend. And this card is the uh, Hidden Treasures card, which means things are being, um, things that was hidden to you are being revealed, like how to make your ideas practical, how to make them actually manifest. Um, <coughs> for example, if you if you want to um, start a business or whatever, now you're making practical steps or writing down practical steps and goals and structures or exactly how how to manifest it and how, how to get it done and make it actually a practical um, accomplishment. It's not just an idea, it's not just a thought, it's not just a dream. Now it's actually, you're making it reality. So, and that's what this is about, about coming from the hidden, the hidden treasures coming into the light. And even then, you have the, the heart chakra, which is where your will and desire comes from, and putting you all into it. You have blue, which is your truth, because this is the truth you want to come to. You have the red and orange place, which is the root chakra, and the sacral chakra. So, and you have little hints of yellow in here, too, which is getting things done. Um, which is really getting things done. So the things that were hidden for you are now starting to click. They're starting to make sense. So now you're learning how to basically apply what you know in order to <coughs> excuse me, change things the way that you want it. So let's get into the reading as if that wasn't a reading alone. <laughs> uh, ooh, good cards. Got one card upside down. It's not too bad. Okay, let's start with this first card. First card is the card of high spirit. And basically what it's saying is with the spirit card, your spirituality, your higher self, be loyal to it. Be loyal to your spirituality, be loyal to your higher self, be loyal to your spirit, be loyal to your spirit guides. <coughs> Excuse me. If you notice in this, her eyes are actually closed, which means she's not seeing with her physical eyes. She's seeing with her third eye. She's seeing with spirit. She's seeing the unseen. No matter what anybody else says something look like, she's seeing the unseen. And if you actually look at the top, I don't know if you can see it. There's actually four other faces up there. Those four other faces represents all the other cards, the uh, all the other priestess, high priestess cards, which is um, earth, water, earth, which is actually manifesting water, which is um, your emotions, fire, which is your which is creation, and air, the high priestess of air, which is your thought, and that's all comes in this. And she's actually over all of them. She's the priestess of spirit, which is guiding them in the background. <coughs> Now, you see, their eyes are open, so she's connecting to all of them. So, I'm sorry. Uh, and this card is a loyal card, which means to be loyal to that. The next card is the confidence. You have to have confidence in your loyalty. The next card um, is the belonging card, which means um, which means you're still having uh, mixed emotions. And I say mixed emotions because the last card is the water card. So, you may still be having mixed emotions about where you belong or what path you're choosing. As long as you have confidence and you're loyal to your spirit, your path is your own. Um, one, one, one year you may be on this path, but your spirit says, okay, for, for the next evolution, you need to gain understanding from a different path and then bring it together. So you may feel, you may feel like you're betraying the path that you started on, and you may be going back to, uh, going back to an older path, or you may be starting a new path. Um, where you belong is to your spirit. And you have to understand that first. You have to have confidence that you belong to spirit first. Spirit first, body second. So as long as you understand you belong spirit first, body second, then you can go into any path that is right for your spirit at that time. And this is the High Priestess of Water, and the High Priestess of Water is emotion. So this emotions card is connected to where you belong at. And so basically what I would say is stop worrying about that. Stop worrying about where you belong. Stop worrying about if this is right for you based on what other people are telling you. Go by your spirit. If your spirit says it's time to study this, your spirit says it's time to move on and do this, do it. Now it's the time to get things done. So, because now it's the time to, as you see up here, it's heavy manifestation time. And down here it's showing, it's showing you that, you know, with your manifestation, you have to stay loyal to your spirit. Um, one of the things is, you know, when you're getting ready to create something, you're getting ready to do something, one of the biggest problems people have is telling everybody their dreams and their ideas. Because people don't support you based off your dreams and ideas. People support you based off what they feel they can accomplish. So what they tell you may, is not necessarily your truth, it's their truth. So with them telling you their truth, it's go, um, it might conflict with what you want to do. And when you tell so many people and they put their energy, their truth, towards your idea, 
it, it now makes it harder for you to override that energy that they have already built up. It's like a bubble that you got to break through or a wall you got to break through. Now you need extra energy to do that. So one of the main things, you know, when, you know, when you're excited and you're happy, you got a new idea, until it's very close to manifesting, or I'll actually say until it has started manifesting, don't tell anybody that doesn't need to know. If they can't help you manifest it, they don't need to know. Um, that's pretty much it. So everybody have a blessed weekend and I'll see you on the other side. Peace.